So today we're going to take a look at Minitool data recovery. Well, I've been using Minitool for years and I got to tell you, it's one of the best recovery software that you could ever find. But now they made an update 11.6. This update doesn't only do deeper scans and better and cleaner scans, but it has some quite specific scans. Before we get into that, let me download it and install it. The download is done right here and I'm just going to install it real quick and you will see for yourself how easy it is to install, to use and of course you have to click yes there because it says make sure you're not installing it on a drive that you're uh, targeting for recovery which makes sense and just give it a few seconds to install and we should be ready to go and just like that the installation is complete. Now let me minimize this one and it's loaded Minitool Data Recovery 11. Just to give you a full disclaimer here or a full transparency, I was not paid for any opinions or this video, but I was sent a license from Minitool themselves, which I thank them for that. And I will leave a link on the description for you guys. And as you see here, when it opens, you will have these options, all your drives. I have these drives that you see right here, not much to brag about. But what I'm loving about the new version now, you have specific locations. As you see here in the bottom, you can recover data that you lost on the desktop only. And if you're anything like me, sometimes you might put things like this on the desktop and then you hit delete and then empty the recycle bin and you, you see where that goes. So now you have an option to do it just on the desktop. Second option is only from recycle bin. So the recycle bin has that on it right now. I would clean it like I usually do. And if I wanna get them back now after it's deleted from the recycle bin, I'll click scan. And as you see, it's bringing back all the stuff from different drives I can select now another drive if I wish so, but in this case I'm not gonna go through it because it will go through a lot of files that I have here and I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing, but as you see it is very very possible to do so. And the next option would be to select a folder manually. So you can go to whatever folder you have, or if you have a folder somewhere that is an uh, external drive or whatnot, you can go there, select only that folder that you might suspect or you have lost the data from and recover it from that folder alone. And here you can load manually if you wish so, that you can uh, have, let's say for example, let me explain to you what that manually means. Let's say, we scan this whole drive, that's 232 gigabytes. It got the files, but now you don't have time or for some reason you just wanna save that scan result on the side and continue it another day. Well, you can do that or continue it on another computer. You can save that scan file, put it to the other computer that you have another uh, mini tool power data recovery on and scan from there, so you can load that scan result now, or recovery result, from that USB, so you don't have to go through the process of rescanning that same drive again. But instead, you load that scan result uh, file, and you go straight for the save files. So you just grab files from the drive that have been scanned already, and save them to another drive, and so on. In my opinion, this is actually really, really beautiful. And other options here... If you click, you have the scan settings, you have utilities. If you want to download extras, that's power data recovery bootable. So you can make it in a bootable USB and you can recover from a crashed or missing operating system that you don't want to just format everything, but you want to try to recover it. That is possible with this uh, option right here. You can download and install it on a USB drive. And if your system crashes, you put that USB drive in and try to recover. And you have the video repair that you will uh, at least attempt to repair some video files that sometimes get corrupted, especially if they've been uh, transferred throughout too many hard drives, throughout too many USBs, and sometimes the USB was removed improperly while the video was playing or the video wasn't used by a video editor or whatnot. In that case, that's where this video repair would come in handy. And you have the scan settings here, which is extremely helpful if you know what you're doing. 
You can go from F18-12, which is rarely used anymore, but if you, in, in case you need to use it, you have the option. F18-16 and 32, which 32 is mostly in use today. XFAT and NTFS or a HFS+. Plus. And here you have your files that you choose what you want to specifically recover. Let's say you don't want to go through 12 hours of recovering files, but you want to specifically go in and extract a Word document and maybe a PDF document and a, I don't know, Coral document. And that's it for the documents. Then you close it and maybe at the pictures, you had something in mind. Maybe you had an AutoCAD file that you had that 3D or whatever you had. You want to get only that and only your Photoshop files. You don't want to do the PNGs, JPEGs, or any of that, and so on with all the databases, the archives that you can go with the zip files, emails, the Outlook data. If you have, uh, if you use Outlook, you can actually recover Outlook data, and the rest is other files, which would be the XML, ICC, GPD, or graph pads which are part of the system, but sometimes you don't need that text file. You need that Firefox bookmarks files that you lost. You can do that too. In my opinion, this is extremely helpful, extremely helpful for recoveries, for specific data recoveries, and furthermore, for damaged operating systems that you can actually attempt to recover. But when it comes to your drive just being corrupted or you've been hit by a virus or something and you want to recover only your files, I think Minitool Power Data Recovery does an excellent, excellent job. I've been using it for years and I will use it for years. It's really a beautiful system to use. And here I just loaded uh, my other PC. We're going to go to this 20 gigabytes old drive from 2007. I was wondering if I can recover anything from it. And yes, it's wiped clean. It's been wiped clean for quite a few years. Let me just check properties real quick. As you see, yep, 100 megabytes <laughs> taken space, which I don't know why it even takes that. And it's 18.5 readable data. It is a really old drive. But what we're going to do, we're going to give a real run for the money to the Minute Tool Power Data Recovery 11.6, 6, and we're going to attempt to recover. And as you see, the recovery just started. It's 5% right now. It will take its sweet little time, and uh, we will get back when it's done. And as you see, at only 6%, it already got uh, nine deleted files, two existing files, which, okay, that's not that hard, and 11 lost files. I will be back once this scan is done, and we'll see how much of that data will be actually recovered. And it looks like we have a lot of files. I'm going to select them all. Nine deleted, lost files, 400. That's a lot, actually. Let me just select somewhere to save this stuff. I'm going to click OK. And now it will start recovering all those files to the folder that we designated it for. It's around 411 11 files, so 400 to be sharp. And that's actually really good. It is really, really good so far. It didn't really take that long. It probably took an hour for that old 20 gigabytes drive. It was in an old uh, Acer laptop that I had, I think it was probably back in 2007 or six, something that, that's quite, quite a while ago. And as you see, all the files are being recovered because we hit all files. I didn't specify just a single file. And looks like we have some Windows Media Audio and Windows, Windows Media Video. Yes, that's a sign of its time here. <laughs> and I'm just going to skip this one through and uh, get back to you when the folders are ready. And as you see, recovery completed right here. 3.68 gigabytes. Let's uh, go check it. Lost files and recycle bin. And this is the metadata it says here logs from back then wow that's that's some interesting stuff objects let's go to recycle bin okay it was empty and this is the deleted files lost files raw files yeah that's i think all it got jpeg these are pictures that's interesting png files 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna open these files because I was very young back then and uh, I'm making a video on YouTube, so we're just gonna count it as recovered. Yeah, <laughs> because those are pictures and videos. Might be too personal. Uh, that's actually really, really nice. So it got all the media that I was looking for, in quotes. And with this update, 11.6, I am extremely happy what they did with it. I'm really, really happy. Okay, let me just try this. Uh, okay, never mind. This will not be shown on the video. I will blur it. So, yep, just what I thought. Let me go to something else here now. <laughs> okay, let me open this one here. Uh, okay, this one looks like it had a game that I had back in time. That's good. That's watchable and openable. PNG images. Let me try this one. Okay, that's part of a game. That definitely looks like objects from 2007. That makes a lot more sense. Or 2008. So, as you saw, all the files are actually not only recovered, but they're uh, usable. So, yes, this was Minitool Power Data Recovery 11.6. And here you can go by types, by the way, in case I forgot. You can choose only some types of pictures to uh, recover, only some types of audio and video to recover, just in case you want to just go. And by the way, it will show more types. If your drive had more types on it, if, if, if it had three GPs, if it had MP4s, all that, or FLVs files, it will be shown here on mine in this case. This drive only has these types of media, but yours might have more media and other stuff. So you can select it that way. And yes, link will be in the description to Minitool Data Recovery 11.6. In my opinion, one of the best recovery softwares that you can get your hands on. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Bye.